Hello guys, uh, introducing myself. My name is Muhammad Rafi Perwanda, and now I'm a student in a medical uh, university faculty in Universitas Islam Bandung. Uh, today, I want to show you uh, a comprehensive review medical exam, uh, which is its uh, SOCA student objective uh, oral test. Uh, so. Uh, I want to show you how one key of the success in medical exam is starting preparation early. Break down your study session into manageable chunk and covering different topics each day. Consistent is the name of the game. And then you use multi multiple research. Don't limit yourself to just one source. Utilize a variety of research, textbook, online lectures, and practice question. This will give you well-rounded understanding of material and help reinforce important concept. Then, the you practice, practice, and a practice. Practice SM uh, are your best friends. They stimulate uh, the actual thing, testing environment and help you get uh, a custom to the format and time constraints. The more you practice, the more confident you will become tackling different type of question. Then, prioritize weak area. Uh, identify your weak areas early on uh, prioritize them. Spend more time on topic that you find challenging. This targeted approach will ensure that you will prepare for every aspect of the exam. Then, take breaks and stay healthy. It's crucial to take a break and take care of yourself. Regular break help prevent burnout and staying healthy contribute to better concentration and attention. Don't forget to stay hydrated and enough of sleep. Then, remember everyone, journey is unique. Stay focused, stay positive, and believe in yourself. You've worked hard to get uh, this point, and you're more than capable of etching those medical exams, including SOCA. That's it uh, for today's vlog. I hope found uh, this tips helpful. If you have any question or want more advice, leave a comment below. Best of luck on your exam, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay motivated and keep striving. Oh, hello, guys. My name is Arisa Redika, and I'm a medical student from University Islam Bandung or UNISBA. And as you guys know, that as a medical student, we have to a lot of work or a lot of studying because there are so many again uh, the exam are very hard and one of them is SOCA or student oral objective case analysis which is very stressful to me because there's a lot there's a lot thing to study and and this is me sharing to you how I deal with the preparation of it so let's check it out we're in the end of the hematology oncology system and the host system is uh, it has five cases and each case has the topic itself for example the first case is about iron deficiency anemia so i will like you to talk about the main signs of it it's it called blood and the disorder it called anemias so I have to study about anemias and blood and then I'm trying to recall the topic of each cases and this is the most exhausting part because we have to read it aloud uh, this is the most exhausting part of the process in preparation of the soca and I always recall the topic in standing position because uh, too much sit for me is uh, exhausting and is more likely to sleepy or drowsy so I have to stand because it makes me concentration a lot and after I recall it I usually to taking a note or making a new note making a new note to and order it from A to Z systemically uh, to make the great good grades of it and I have right of what I recall or making notes to make it stick in my mind so this is the draft so card that I took uh, a while ago uh, this is about the first case is iron deficiency anemia and it's uh, in order to systemically for uh, for the presentation I have to study again about 
the pathogenesis or the pathomechanism of the case because it makes us or make me uh, understand more, more about the case this is uh, the key of the case or you have to understand it because if you don't understand and and it will make you fail because nowadays we have to understand it, not only uh, remember it or recall it so that's how I do my preparation for soka and in several days I will do the soka thing and <laughs> wish me luck guys because I'm so nervous about it and I'll do the best but cut the rest the most merciful and the most kind Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Hello guys, uh, my name is Fadri Janaja Raizkia and I'm a medical student uh, in Universitas Islam Bandung As you guys know uh, that in med school, there's a lot of exam and the time is close together such as MDA, SOCA, uh, lab exam, and many things uh, One of the most the medical student I've read is SOCA uh, What is SOCA? SOCA is a student oral objective case analysis uh, and, the, uh, and so here's the tip from me for how I survive from this situation Usually, and one until two weeks before the exam, I have started studying, especially for the SOCA exam, because there is so much material, so it takes me a long time to study. And now I'm learning about the host system or hematology oncology system. So in this system, there are five cases uh, that I have to learn. First case is about iron deficiency anemia, and the second is about thalassemia. Third about uh, hemophilia and fourth about uh, acute myoblastic leukemia and the last one is about Hodgkin lymphoma uh, usually I start learning from the first case because it's the basis of the system uh, so uh, the similarity in this uh, five case is that the basic science is almost the same and that makes it uh, quite easy to learn Usually, I take the material for learning SOCA is from tutorial which I have summarized so I can learn it uh, in my language. Maybe uh, that's how I prepare my exam for SOCA. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, let me introduce myself. I am Rais Magistriana and I'd like to share a few tips and tricks regarding the oral and written medical examination now as SOCA and OSP. For SOCA, firstly, Identify your our learning style. In my case, it visual and auditory. This means having a physical representation of the case like this. And listening my friend explanation beforehand. Secondly, start studying well in advance. I usually begin at least a week before the exam. Setting the daily target for the progress during the time. Now, for OSPE or lab examination, on the day before the lab exam, there are typically a review session on campus. Doctor briefly recap the material, and during this session, it's crucial to pay close attention to the style of the what doctor convey. Afterward, I usually organize study session with friends. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I want to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Rani Abdullah, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, my ways to prepare for SOCA exam. So what I usually do is I would try my best to uh, understand the case and tutorial so that when the exam approaches, I'll just have to review it and maybe learn a few things that I still have yet to understand and um, for my learning style I'm more of a, a visual type so what I usually do is I would learn from YouTube videos and then I would uh, read the books hello let me introduce myself my name is Muhammad Dafar Simun Sharif I am a student at the Faculty of Medicine, Bandung Islamic University. On this occasion, I will tell you about my preparation before studying soccer and lab. First of all, I will make a glass of milk and prepare water to accompany me in studying. 
After that, I will call my parents to ask for prayers to make things easy. Next, I will prepare the equipment I need, such as books, laptop, iPad, and notes. So before starting to study, first know how we study. My way of learning is kinesthetic, so I need a record of my learning result. Because I already know how to study, I apply my study method in SOCA and lab exams. When approaching the SOCA exams, I will understand and, to, uh, and take notes to that memorizing is easy. Meanwhile, when the lab exam is approaching, I will pay attention to the doctor when giving the material and I will note it down so that when the lab exam is approaching, I only need uh, to understand the material that I have written.